Welcome back, and it's time to talk about acidosis. We'll be talking about three types of acidosis. The respiratory acidosis, metabolic acidosis, and finally, combined acidosis. First, acute respiratory acid, which is marked by an increased PaCO2 and a decreased pH. There's an example on the right. On this slide are some of the principal causes of acute respiratory acidosis. One of the most commonly seen is acute ventilatory failure from muscle fatigue. You might see this in patients who are suffering with pneumonia and have been struggling to breathe for a period of time. But just like my leg muscles, when I tried to run up a flight of stairs, the muscles of breathing will eventually fatigue and the patient will start a breathing pattern of rapid and shallow breathing. Small tidal volumes conserve more energy, and so carbon dioxide will start to rise. As this happens, uh, pH will drop. Another potential cause of respiratory failure is neuromuscular dysfunction. Uh, in this class might be diseases like Guillain-Barre or myasthenia gravis, uh, uh, diseases that would paralyze the uh, muscles required, required for breathing. And then finally, a narcotic overdose, which turns off the drive to breathe, causing the classic hypercarbic respiratory failure. On this slide shows treatments for acute respiratory acidosis. For acute ventilatory failure and neuromuscular diseases, the treatment is going to be mechanical ventilation, which means you either intubate and ventilate the patient, or uh, non-invasive ventilation has been used with some success in these patients. For narcotic overdose, Narcan is an antagonist. Other drugs that are causing respiratory acidosis will require mechanical ventilation. Some examples of metabolic acidosis would be, uh, and of course metabolic acidosis would be a drop in bicarb uh, below 22 and a accompanying acidosis or low pH. But uh, causes of this would be lactic acidosis, which happens in low cardiac output states such as sepsis, cardiac arrest, and shock, diabetic ketoacidosis. Frequently patients will try and compensate by hyperventilating, but we'll get in comp into compensation later. The treatment for metabolic acidosis is to correct the thing that's causing the acidosis. In the case of diabetic ketoacidosis, it's to give insulin to move some of the sugar into the cell so that the cells can start using sugar for metabolism and stop the buildup of ketones. The physician may decide to give sodium bicarb. Combined acidosis is a combination of an increased CO2 and a de decreased bicarb. You might see this in cardiac arrest. The treatments would be the same for the other two.